Hello all, it's Sharon, and today's video I'm back with a library book haul for the month of March. There's a lot of celebrations and events happening in the month of March, so I'll show you those books first. So we have this book called Holy, and this is festivals around the world. Beautiful book, and uh, we always try to read about different types of celebrations found around the world. So this has the story of Holy. And what it's all about. Beautiful images. The Festival of Colors. Great book. And then we have the time change. And we'll be springing ahead. So I picked up this book that is all about time. So I thought it would be you know, interesting just to read about this. And go over time and what time is. Goes over the parts of the clock, parts of the day, so it looks like a good one as well. There's also a glossary that goes over some keywords, so that was a good one. And then we have St. Patrick's Day coming up, so this is all about St. Patrick's Day and their celebrations. I love these books because they're just full of information and fantastic photos. And then we will have the start of spring. So this is seasons of the year, spring. Really nice photos in this one as well. And then towards the end of March, it is the start of Ramadan. So we'll be reading that as well. Goes over what is Ramadan. Talks about fasting. Talks about their praying. The Quran. So, our unit study for the month of March is Dinosaurs, so I'm just going to pull those books out. So, when I was looking online for these books, I found this author named Kate Reeks, and she had a couple of different books on different dinosaurs, so we picked up all the ones that the library had available. So, this first one is the Velociraptor. And they are cartoon, but um, these have really nice uh, pictures and lots of information. So yeah, beautiful books. And then the next one that I found was Stegosaurus. And again, they're all very similar. And then we found Triceratops. This one I'm going to have to learn how to pronounce, but I believe it's a platosaurus. <laughs> kind of reminds me of a brontosaurus. But these are beautiful books, and they just have great information in them. Then we found a pterodactyls, and the last one that was on there was the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So yeah, those look like fantastic books with lots of information. I'm just going to show you a couple more dinosaur-themed books. So this one here is more of like a encyclopedia kind of format. So this is DK's Eyewitness Dinosaur. And this is just tons of information all about different types of dinosaurs. Now I love the realistic images in here. I like how that goes over their bone structure as well. So that was a fantastic find at the library. And then Nate found this in the actual library where we picked up our book. So this is just raw. I am a dinosaur. And he liked it because he can act like the dinosaurs on the pages. It says, let's be dinosaurs. And then as I'm reading the story, so it's just a cute little fun book. So he can look through here and pretend that he's the pterodactyl, the T-Rex. So yeah, it's a cute little book. Just a few words on each page. 
And then I saw this on there as well. And this is Dinosaur Lady. And it's just the Darling Discoveries of Mary Anning. And she, so, she made a lot of great discoveries. And again, this is cartoon, but it has, you know, it's easy to follow for the children that you're reading it to. Just a simple story of her life. And then this one is more for me to read and just get more information. But I'll be going over some of the points with Nate as well. But this is the story of dinosaurs in 25 Discoveries. And it's more like a uh, actual like chapter book, but it is packed with tons of information and again realistic images, just like real images, which I really liked. So this will be like I said more for me just to look up certain points. So thanks so much for watching this library book haul, and I'll uh, talk to you in tomorrow's video. Take care and bye for now.